In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the two toolbars in Build My Garden. We have two toolbars in Build My Garden. In the top left, we have the main toolbar, and in the bottom left, we have the view toolbar. The view toolbar allows me to change the, the camera and certain view, view settings, okay? For instance, I can turn on and off the grid. I can toggle the dimensions. I can toggle the building view and I can reset the view. In the main toolbar, I have tools that allow me to mani manipulate the objects. So the first tool is the select tool. So if I select that, this allows me then to select any of the objects that have been previously added to the scene. And once they're selected, I then get in the inspector on the right hand side, the object's wall, which gives me details about the object and anything we've done to the object. The second tool is the orbit tool. If I click on that, that means that I can click anywhere on the scene and the camera will orbit around the garden. The pan tool, instead of orbiting, the camera moves left, right, up and down. The add tool, if I click on that, this allows me to add items from the Build My Garden store to the scene. So if I click on trees, I could add, say, a crab apple, and this will be added to my scene. I can then use the move tool to move this item or any of the items around the scene. And you'll note that with certain items, they can move anywhere while other items are, have a snap to grid feature. So for instance, these plot items, when I move these, these snap to the grid lines. The next tool is the rotate tool. If I select that, this means that I can rotate any item around its axis. The next tool is the scale tool. If I select that and click and drag, if I drag up to the top right, it increases the size of the item. If I drag down to the bottom left, it decreases the scale. Finally, or not finally, the second last one is the duplicate tool. If I click on that, this gives me a top view of the garden, and then I can select the source item by clicking on it, and then I can move around, and just like with the add tool, I can then click, and this adds a copy of that item to the place that I've clicked on. I could, uh, if I do the same, and I click on this and add it, that is a duplicate of my heater, so I now have two heaters. Finally, there's the delete tool. If I select that, I can then go over any item, select it, and it will be deleted. 